Well, shooting is not allowed in Rainbow Falls Park or in most areas of Pike National Forest. But campers who regularly visit the area are not surprised by the stray bullet. Cardio News Channel 13's Dan Molina was out there this afternoon. Yeah, she's live now in the newsplex with what campers are now doing to stay safe. James and Heather, as we got to the park, we found signs like this one. Uh, those we met at the campsite hadn't heard about the shooting, but, but say they're going to be extra watchful from now on. This has been Larry Smith and his grandkids' campsite for more than 10 years. Normally, it's just about like this, real peaceful and calm and, you know, quiet. They know the area, the sights and sounds. It's pretty normal to hear gunshots, uh, target practicing, um, I don't know, I always thought maybe GIs would bring their guns up on the weekend, their handguns, and do some target shooting, or anybody, really, for that matter. It's really no secret they're shooting out here. We've been hearing gunshots since we got here, and we found all these shell casings. But shooting isn't allowed here. Multiple signs at the entrance tell campers that. Absolutely, we're concerned about it. For Smith, finding shell casings isn't just kids' play anymore. Not after finding out a man was killed by a stray bullet. Wouldn't think a stray bullet would uh, <clears throat> find its way to you clear out here. Well, the sad news won't keep the family away from their campground. They are taking precautions. Stay together, make a lot of noise. Stay together, make a lot of noise. Is still looking for the person who shot Glenn Martin, who you see here. If you have any information, you are asked to call 720 913 STOP. In the newsplex, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. Dana.